a clash between modern and classic architecture. It's a consequence of a process called infill. Infill development involves filling existing lots with multi-unit housing. This has some Ottawa residents concerned. My concerns in particular for where I live uh, is that they're creeping closer to the heritage districts and what's happening is you're having huge walls of development go up right beside the district with no setbacks. These concerns were voiced at a discussion panel on infill development in historic neighborhoods. Panelists discussed the kind of things to avoid. For example, homes with front-facing garages, no yard or landscaping, and no porches. Typically, infill homes are also a lot taller than other homes. Sandy Smallwood and... Leslie Maitland is the president of Heritage Ottawa, which hosted the event Wednesday night. She recognizes the need for infill. So we want to contain uh, urban sprawl, and to do this, we have to have more people living in the core. But how do you do that without destroying the harmony of existing neighborhoods? Infill is booming in Ottawa. The city has issued 1,600 building permits for infill developments in just the last five years. Alan Teramura is an architect for Watson, McHugh and Teramura Architects. He was a panelist at last night's event. He believes the city needs to have better controls on development. I think that would satisfy the, the homeowners that are building uh, the new houses, but also uh, give the existing neighbors some reassurance that their neighborhood isn't being transformed in a way that they don't, uh, they don't want. As the city continues to grow, the 